today we're going to be installing a brake controller, the Prodigy part number 39519 on a 2006 Ford Range. We're going to go ahead and start by doing the electrical plug here in the back and we're going to work our way forward. Okay, for the installation of this brake controller, we're also going to be using our brake control insulation kit, code number ETBC7, which comes with your basic seven pole connector, the brackets to mount it, 25 foot of double bonded wire, and the, all the connectors needed as well. We're gonna start here in the rear and go ahead and mount our electrical plug. We want to find a substantial, suitable grounding point for the mounting bracket itself. Most of the time you can mount it directly to the hitch on this particular one. There's not um, a substantial enough mounting area for the bracket, so we're gonna go ahead and mount it directly to the bubble. And then for the seven, fold, seven to four pole adapter here that we have. If you don't have one pre-existing, um, you need to go ahead and mount a four pole connector on the vehicle. This particular one has a factory four pole already on it. So we're gonna plug directly into there. Went ahead and plugged in the, the four pole off of our adapter here into the four pole on the Ford. Um, on this particular model, kind of see I had to, this comes with a jacketing around it which on deploying to most four poles is okay, but with the Ford, the Ford actually has a jacketing around it as well, so the two won't merge together. I had to actually shave the jacketing off of our connector here to make it work. Now, we wanna go ahead and ground this white wire. We need to find a suitable grounding point somewhere on the frame of the vehicle. And we're also going to connect our double bonded wire that came with our ETBC7 to the two leads on our adapter here. We're gonna connect the white to the blue, which is the outgoing brake lead. This one's gonna go directly to the brake controller, the blue wire off the brake controller, excuse me. The black, we're gonna connect to the black, and that is actually a hot lead, which is gonna connect directly to the positive side of the battery. And that's gonna allow for an accessory power feed for our connector here. We made all our connections here on the adapter. I'm just going to go ahead and route the double binded wire up the driver's side frame rail to up under the hood. Uh, we went ahead and we routed the double binded wire down the driver's side frame rail and now we're up under the hood where we pulled it through. At this point, the white wire that's inside this double bonded wire needs to go inside the cab and hook directly to the blue wire on the brake controller that we're gonna mount here in a minute. The black wire that's inside here, we need to mount to a circuit breaker and then have the, that lead off the circuit breaker go directly to the positive side of the battery. So the first thing is to, went back to the, the parts from the ETBC7. Here is the circuit breaker that we're gonna need to run in line. On the, on the black wire and this double bonded wire. We need to find a spot to mount this here in the cab. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this utility box. Two screws right here that need to be taken off. We can pull this out of the way and that will give us access to the metal behind here where I can mount the circuit breaker to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We're also gonna need to run a circuit breaker for the brake controller itself which is the 30 amp breaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it side by side with this other one while I've got this area opened up. As you can see, I went ahead and mounted the two circuit breakers that I was referring to. And this spot here, like I said, is actually behind the bracket that holds the, the fuse block. So you do need to make sure and mark your holes and double check your spacing so that the circuit breakers don't hit the bracket of the fuse block after you install it. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and mount the black wire that comes back from the plug to my 40 amp circuit breaker. Then I'm gonna go ahead and route the hot in the ground from the brake controller up to my 30 amp breaker that's right here as well. 
So we're gonna go inside the cab now so I can show you uh, how to route the wire through.